This is the explanation video for the song, The Holy Ghost. So I'll be explaining each of the signs and what they mean and then some tricks and stuff to learn and remember the signs. And also just letting you know that this translation is actually done officially in a video done by the church in the 2011 version. They have one that an adult does and one that a child does. And they're really great. When I watched them, I was like, that's exactly how I would sign them. So this is that translation, but I'm teaching you how to sign it. So the first verse, uh, first line, when Christ was on the earth. So we sign when. So you have two pointer fingers up and you push them down so that they're, you know, your backs are up when you're done. When. Christ. So you kind of have like a sash, you know, right from your left shoulder to your right part of your waist and then you have C. That's cool. Um, so a C. If you do a K, then what's cool is it's king or M, it's Messiah. So C is Christ. When Christ here, so you have your palms up and they're straight and kind of do little circles here, earth. Earth is kind of a fun one. So you have your middle finger and your thumb and you kind of go like this. It's not right here on your wrist. I used to do that. It's right here. <laughs> and you just kind of rotate your earth like this, right? So when Christ was here on earth, he promised he would send. He, which is God, isn't, God isn't right here, God's up. He promised. So you promise with your mouth, like you're promising something. You're saying a promise, it comes up. And this is trust, but it comes up flat on trust. It's like you're saying something that people trust. That's how I interpret it. So you can remember that. Maybe that's an easy way to remember it. But it comes up flat on top of your non-dominant hand fist, which is usually left. If you're left, if you're right-handed, then you'll take your right hand and go, promise. So he promise to send. So you'll turn your non-dominant hand around and on the back of your hand you have something like a little bug and you just want to send it off. You're just like, send, please go away, right? But Heavenly Father, we don't want Jesus to go away, but Jesus was sent, right? So when Christ was on the earth, he promised, oh, Jesus actually sent, what? The Holy Ghost. I guess Jesus was sent as well. But in this song, we're talking about the Holy Ghost being sent. So we have he promise to send the Holy Ghost to comfort us. And the sign, the signs just go right hand in hand with the words, Holy Spirit, comfort us. So you have an H and you bring it down to your flat hand and then you sign clean, H clean, right? If you do S then it's sacred, which we'll actually sign later in the second verse. And, but you have an H and you bring it down and you sign clean. The Holy Spirit. I think you, you might want to ask the kids, like, how does something, how does holy, what does holy have to do with being clean? You know, how does that relate with being clean? Um, it's because you're signing age clean. So Holy Spirit. Spirit's kind of a fun one. You have all of your fingers out, but the ones that are touching are your middle finger and your thumb, and you go like this like a little spirit, a little ghost. It goes really well with Holy Ghost. It's like one sign, <laughs> Holy Spirit. Okay, and the Holy Spirit uh, comforts us, comfort. So these hands are really sad. They just need a little comfort. comfort. And you might want to ask the kids, well, how does the Holy Ghost comfort us? Us. Right, and you've got two shoulders, and it's us, because your shoulders are us, okay? So you point to one or the other. Um, the Holy Ghost comforts us, comfort us. And the next line is our true eternal friend. Our Holy Ghost is our friend, right? So we can say true, or this is kind of like our, right? Another word for truth is like going like this, like honest. Um, but he's our true friend forever. So that's what we sign, true friend forever. Friend, let's go like this. You've got two 
fingers that want to be friends. They're friends now. Friend, just the go like And forever, always in the future. So this is future, this is past, and this is always. Because you're just like always going to be going like this. It's like never going to stop. It's just you're just going to always circle your finger around and then in the future. That's what forever is. It's always in the future. So this is a Y and kind of down like that. So always and then it goes into the future. Always Y in the future. And that means forever or eternal. Okay, awesome. Next line, we're getting through this. He testifies of God and Christ and makes our hearts rejoice. I skipped a line. The Holy Spirit whispers with a still small voice. Now, I really like this translation. When I saw this first, I was like, I like that. The reason is, is because if someone's signing this, and let's say sign language, ASL is their first language, would it make sense for them to sign like a voice, right? Because the Holy Ghost really is a feeling, right? Or an inspiration. And so for this line, we sign Holy Spirit, I just taught you that, whispers with quiet inspiration. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so whispers like this, whisper, whisper, whisper. You've got your thumbs down and just kind of like this, right? It's like a whisper, you got a whisper. Um, and then with, you guys just got two hands and they're with each other. They're just right with each other. They're not going anywhere. They're not separating. They're with each other. And then the next one is quiet. I've seen quiet like with a finger and a whole thing like that. I've seen it like that. I've seen it, especially teachers, quiet, quiet. <laughs> when they're really mad. But you can also do more of like a reverent quiet, like reverent, you know, your whole hand. Your fingers close together and you're like, quiet inspiration. And inspiration I've seen like from your waist all the way up, right? I've also seen it just kind of come up like this. Um, but mainly it's your fingers are together and they widen when they come up. And so inspiration. The Holy Spirit whispers with a Still small voice. You might want to ask the kids, why would we sign inspiration, right? What's the true meaning behind that? Okay, the next line that I wanted to jump too early to, he testifies of God in Christ and makes our hearts rejoice. So we sign he or God, right? I mean, this is God and this is he. Uh, testifies. Testifies is such a cool, cool one. So it like comes from your heart and it turns into a T, and then you bring it out for everyone to see. And it's just there. Because you're sharing your testify, right, testimony. So he testifies of God and Christ. So we're gonna sign Heavenly Father. This is heaven, right? Heavenly. And we're gonna, write, we're gonna sign heaven and it turns into Father. Since you already have both of your hands up there, you're just gonna sign Father together. It'd be really weird to go Heavenly Father and like hide a hand, okay? So Heavenly Father and, does it say Christ or Jesus? Heavenly Father and Christ, okay. So Heavenly Father and Christ again. Um, so he testifies of God and Christ and makes our hearts rejoice. So I signed heart. You can paint a heart with your middle finger, just like that. You can just touch your heart if you want to make it easier, your heart, or you can do a whole heart. And then um, makes, make, and this is like physically you make something. So it's kind of funny how we put it here, but hearts make happy, right? So as we sign, he testify, Heavenly Father, Christ, heart, make, happy. Happy, you just fan yourself. You, you can do one hand, just so happy, right? I'm happy. 
So like a happy birthday, you know, happy. You can do two hands as well if you're just like super happy. He makes happy. So next line is when we are confirmed by sacred uh, priesthood power. We'll do that. Um, when, I've already told you that was the first sign that we did. When us, which I've already taught you, are confirmed. So we're going to sign this, which means bless. Remember promise? Now we're turning our hand around and we're doing a blessing. It's like you're putting your hands on someone's head and confirming them. It's like you're physically doing what they would do to confirm someone's priesthood power. So that's kind of fun, right? In the sign, that's what it means. And so this means blessing. And so we sign that for when we are confirmed by sacred priesthood power. We're going to sign priesthood power sacred. Because we do the subject first, priesthood power that is sacred, right? So priesthood, you got your floor right here. It's your floor. You've got P, right? It's your P. P H. P H. It's like Joseph Smith. J-S, P-H, which is Joseph Smith. And then power. Power can be do, uh, done two ways. You can make a muscle like that, or you can make a muscle like this. Power. So when we are confirmed by sacred priesthood power, and then remember the clean, the holy, the H comes down, now it's an S that comes down. The S comes down clean. Sacred. Another thing you might want to ask the kids, how can the S, how can sacred have anything to do with being clean? I want to ask that. Kind of just fun way to get people to think about the words a little differently. Um, so, as we're saying, when us blessed or when us confirmed, priesthood power is sacred. The next one is the Holy Ghost is given to us to guide us every hour. So we just signed sacred, right? Now we're going to sign priesthood, or sorry, Holy Ghost. We just signed priesthood, power, sacred. Now we're going to sign Holy Ghost. So it's like, it's kind of similar. Sacred and then Holy Ghost. I already taught you Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit is given to me, right? And it's given to me, but it's given to us, so we sign us. It's a given, us. And then we're gonna do hour, an hour, right? Hour, an hour. Um, this is like time, like an hour, like a clock. It's like a clock, right? Um, and so you do that a couple times. So the Holy Ghost is given to us. Um, hours, and then want to do guide us, right? Because it's given to us hour by hour to, to guide us every hour. So we'll do hours first and then guide us. So there's lots of us's in there, right? The next line, let me repeat that, make sure it wasn't confusing. Holy Spirit, give me us, hours, guide us. So you got your two thumbs up and it's guide, right? Follow just messed up. This is follow. This is guide. Guide. <laughs> You're guiding your hand up. It's really similar to follow. So this is follow, like follow, and this is guide. Okay. Glad I meant, glad I caught that. Your non-dominant hand is flat and your other hand grabs it and guides it. Okay. So the next line is, oh, may I always listen to that still small voice? And we're going to sign help, obey, always, quiet inspiration, right? So we get help. Remember, help is a directional sign. Sign. Um, we use a lot in a lot of these videos. So your non-dominant hand is flat, and then your dominant hand is up here with your thumb up, and it's help. The Holy Ghost was, will help you, right? Will help, obey, obey. We start with squished O's, obey, always, 
And we're not actually listening by using our ears most of the time. I mean, whenever I hear the Holy Ghost, my physical ears aren't the the way, isn't the way that I actually feel like and get the prompting of the Holy Ghost and recognize what the Holy Ghost is saying. And so what's nice about this is we can change it, especially with ASL. I think it's important as well to change it, to make it make sense in ASL. And so instead of saying listen, we are obeying always that quiet inspiration, right? From that, from the Holy Ghost. So um, the next line is, well, I'll repeat it. Oh, may I always listen to that still small voice. I signed help, obey, always, quiet inspiration. And the last line is, and with his light, I'll do what's right each time I make a choice. So saying with his help, right choice. Every day I choose. So choice and choose are the same thing. And so it's with his help, the right choice every day I will choose. So I'll choose that right choice every day with his help. So with his, remember it's possessive to him. We don't point to God. There's our whole hand and we turn it when it's possessive. His, and the Holy Ghost is part of the Godhead, right? So he's up here. His help. He's helping me, right? He's helping all of us, but it's help. I'm not helping him, okay? <laughs> it's help, and it's actually like this. I sometimes will go like this, but it's supposed to be flat. His help, right. You have your two fingers, one goes right over the other, and it's right. And I used to have my thumbs out. Keep your thumbs in. Right, choice. Remember, you choose. There's two choices here. But I'm going to choose both of them, one and the other. And then every day, okay? Every day. Every day. I will choose. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Remember, I won't be doing a song video with this one because I really want to encourage all of you to use the official video of the church. There are lots of videos that are really old and kind of dated, and um, but the one that this one is made from was done in 2011, and I really like it. I like that you can see um, a version that a child did and a version that an adult did, and I and it's super hard. I can't imagine how difficult it would be to sign that in front of the video camera as a little kid. Um, so I did just want to point out so that there's no misunderstanding that the boy who did it, he did an amazing job. I'm so glad that I didn't have to make that video. <laughs> he did a great job. And um, when he signed sacred, he just accidentally signed Holy Ghost instead of sacred. So when you watch that and he signs Holy Ghost twice, just love him. <laughs> but I wanted to point that out because just in case anyone you know, who's a new assigning um, thought that we were supposed to do Holy Ghost twice. Um, you can refer back to the adult one and she signs it correctly with sacred and Holy Ghost after. So, and that's that's the, the sign when it's, and when we are confirmed with sacred priesthood power, the Holy Ghost is given to us. And so it's like you, you sign sacred at the end of that video or at the end of that line and then you do Holy Ghost. So just, just so there's more clarity and no confusion, um, but he did such a great job and it's just so adorable. I like those videos. That's why I'm not going to do them over again. Um, but you can practice with those videos and um, I hope that this is helpful to kind of explain where each of the signs are coming from and hopefully I gave you some ideas that you can use in your primary. Know that you know your children. And in my opinion, I think that you can take what I taught you here and take this official um, translation that church did and really use it however you need for your kids. And so, you know, if none of your kids sign <laughs> and like no one signs and you're all learning together, then use the real signs of ASL, but you know, you can simplify it 
for the needs of your children. And as they grow up and as they learn more, then they'll become better at signing more fluently, right? So even if, let's say you're, you have a super beginner class or you just want to teach your little sunbeams, you know, little three-year-olds, a few, maybe one sign per line or something like that, because a three-year-old might not even speak English and now you're teaching them another language. Um, and you know, you're a primary chorister. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to do that. Um, it's totally acceptable and okay and wonderful to be like when Christ was on the earth, maybe you just do Christ. When Christ was on the earth, and then maybe just do promise, he promised he would send the Holy Ghost to comfort us, our true eternal friend. You know, maybe it's just one sign per line right now. And I just, I just want to share, I guess that's just my opinion is that you know your kids, you know how you can incorporate ASL in a way to bless their lives. So you're doing a great job. You're so loved. Thank you. Thanks for watching that video. Be sure to subscribe right here if you haven't already. And then this video is cool because it's the song. And then this video is our family travel vlog. We have five kids in an RV and we are traveling all the national parks in the USA. And what's really fun is we're explaining and sharing our thoughts on God's creation.